Forex stock is currently trading at a price of $138 per share and is down over 25% in the last year. Trading at this price currently gives Clorox a 3.35% dividend yield. When you combine this with the fact that Clorox has been increasing the amount that they pay in dividends for the past 44 years, it's clear that there could be a huge opportunity for value dividend investors like myself. To gain a better understanding of what Clorox stock is actually worth, we're going to be jumping into my stock valuation spreadsheet in Google Sheets. If you'd like to be able to download this sheet, then you can head to my Patreon page at the link in the description. Okay, so we are currently looking at my stock valuation spreadsheet and Google Sheets. And you can see down here at the bottom, we have four different valuation models, which will roll into our output tab so that we can find the intrinsic value of Clorox. And you can see here, we're currently looking at a 365 day change chart. And there's obviously been a huge drop off, which for value dividend investors like myself, this might provide a huge opportunity. So let's go ahead and start with our valuation models and look at Graham's valuation. And Graham's valuation was a valuation model invented by Benjamin Graham. He was one of Warren Buffett's mentors. He also wrote one of the greatest investing books of all time, The Intelligent Investor. And you can see this is the formula he created in order to calculate intrinsic value of a stock. So the first thing we need for this formula is our earnings per share, which is listed right here. We're then gonna take the price to earnings of a company with no growth and add the growth rate, which according to analysts is about 10 currently for Clorox. We're gonna take our earnings per share, multiply it by our growth rate, and then we're gonna multiply it by 4.4, which is the average yield of AAA corporate bonds. We're then gonna take this and divide it by Y, which is the current yield of AAA corporate bonds, which I just looked it up and it's about 3.3 at the time of this video. We can see based off of this, the intrinsic value of Clorox is only $45 per share, which is way below what it's currently priced at. But let's go ahead and keep looking at our other valuation models. So we are currently looking at our discounted cash flow analysis. And in order to perform a discounted cash flow analysis, we need to find the growth rate for our future free cash flows. So you can see in order to do this, I took their historical free cash flow data and found that they had an average growth rate of about 15%. But it's worth noting, in year 2020, from 2019 to 2020, obviously we had a pandemic which led to a huge increase in free cash flow for Clorox. According to their business model, it was about a 64% increase in free cash flow. So this average growth rate is probably not gonna be able to continue. So I did project a growth rate of about 8% for the future free cash flows. You can see after I calculated the future free cash flows using that growth rate, I took the present value of these future free cash flows and added them all together, which is this number right here. I then added Clorox's cash and cash equivalents and subtracted their total debt. This allowed me to find the equity value of Clorox. I then took the number of their shares outstanding and I took the equity value and divided it by this number here, which allowed me to find the discounted cash flow valuation of $145 per share. So that's a pretty big difference from Graham's valuation. So let's go ahead and look at our two other valuation models as well. And you can see for this multiples valuation model, I looked at two other companies that I felt were probably the most similar to Clorox. So essentially in order to perform a multiples valuation, what we're gonna do is we are gonna look at the price to earnings multiple for companies that are similar to Clorox. So essentially I take the earnings per share, or excuse me, I take the stock price and divide it by the earnings per share, which allows me to find the price to earnings multiple. I then took the average price to earnings multiple for these two companies and I multiplied it by the earnings per share for Clorox. This led me to find an intrinsic value based off of our multiples valuation of $65 per share. Let's go ahead and look at our dividend discount model. So obviously Clorox is a huge dividend payer and in order to perform this dividend discount model, we look at how much they have historically paid out in dividends. We wanna see how high that number is and how high their growth rate is. So after looking at their yearly dividend payouts, we can see exactly what their dividend payout growth rate is. So the average growth rate over the past few years is 8.48%. That is a really great growth rate. Anytime you see a growth rate this good, it is important to jump back over to our stock screener and we wanna see what that payout ratio is. We can see their dividend yield is 3.35%, but their payout ratio is ridiculously high. That is a big red flag, but we'll come back to that later. Let's go ahead and keep looking at our dividend discount model. So for this model, I projected a growth rate of about 7%. 
After using a discount rate of 9%, we can see their intrinsic value based off of the dividend discount model was $248 per share. That is far higher than their current price of $138 per share. Let's go ahead and look at our output tab. So on our output tab, we can see all four of our valuation models. So grams valuation, $45 per share, multiples valuation, $65, discounted cash flow, $145, and dividend discount model, $248 dollars per share so that is a huge outlier but the reason i feel like this is not a proper valuation because if we look back at our stock screener like i mentioned just a moment ago their payout ratio is 225 percent that means that this growth rate is not at all sustainable for clorox there is absolutely no way with their current payout ratio that they can continue to pay out this high of amount in dividends while sustaining this growth rate. Because of this, I don't think that using this dividend discount model provides a fair valuation for Clorox. So I'm just gonna go ahead and remove this. So now we're looking at the average of these three valuations. And we can see based off of that, the intrinsic value is only $85.33 per share. It's currently trading at $138 per share. So let's say we apply a 10% margin of safety. Based off of this, an acceptable buy price for Clorox would only be about $76 per share. So obviously this is a scenario where the dividend stock looks great. It's at a 52 week low. It's got a really nice um, yield and it does increase its dividend payouts. But this is actually a much riskier stock than most people realize. This dividend payout is likely not sustainable. Even though it's valued much lower due to a recent dip, this still has a lot of risk involved with this stock your thoughts on Clorox stock in the comments below. I know for me personally, if it does reach this acceptable buy price of about $76 per share, I will likely be adding shares of this to my portfolio. If you'd like to be able to download this stock valuation model for your own use, then you can head over to my Patreon page at the link in the description. So with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching this video, and please don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel.